In June 2022, Sweden announced it would provide Robot-17, or RBS-17, coastal defence missiles to Ukraine. These missiles are used by Sweden's amphibious corps to interdict the movement of enemy vessels along Sweden's coast. The RBS-17 is a Bofors defence, now Saab Bofors Dynamics, led development of the AGM-114 Hellfire. Work on the Swedish coastal defence missiles began in the 1980s. It is man-portable with the missile weighing 48 kilograms, in addition to the launcher, firing system and laser targeting module. It's typically operated in the field by five-man teams, with two operating the laser targeting system and three on the weapon itself. On launch, the missile climbs to several hundred metres and seeks the laser-marked target. The system has a maximum range of around 8 kilometres and carries a 9 kilogram high-explosive warhead. While designed to engage vessels, the RBS-17 can also be used against ground targets. On the 2nd of June, the Swedish government announced the transfer of an undisclosed number of RBS-17s. They are believed to have been seen in theatre for the first time in a video published on the 20th of October although it appears it may have been filmed earlier. The video was shared by a group called Big Cats. The low-res clip shows the launch of a pair of missiles. Big Cats haven't shared any further video of the missiles since. In September 2022, the Norwegian government also announced plans to provide Ukraine with their Hellfire-derived Norwegian Shore Defence Missile System. The transfer of 160 missiles and the associated equipment was announced in response to a Ukrainian request. In late March 2023, photographs of several pieces of wreckage from one of the missiles was posted on Telegram. They can clearly be seen to be marked with Norwegian Shore Defence Missile System. It was hypothesised that they were found in the area of the Kinburn Spit and had been fired across the water by an element of the 73rd Naval Centre of Ukraine's Special Operations Forces. It was over eight months before another video of the weapons in action was shared. In mid-August 2023, a brief clip was published showing a hellfire patterned missile, which may have been an RBS-17, being fired and apparently detonating downrange. Several months later, at the end of October, Perhaps the best piece of footage of the missiles being launched was shared. In the video we can see the missile being launched. As the camera pans, we can also see the laser targeting module. In August 2023, Army Inform, the news agency of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defence, published an article outlining how the RBS-17 is used, noting that it's frequently used against Russian defensive positions, dugouts and lightly armoured vehicles. The article included a photograph of a display showing the RBS-17 set up. The system's associated equipment could be seen, as well as a missile case. A Ukrainian combatant can also be seen sat on one of the cases. He's wearing the patch of the Zaporizhia-based 27th River Fleet Division. On the 18th of December, the Swedish government published an article about Ukraine's use of the RBS-17 and the training that the Swedish Armed Forces provided on the system. The article explains that Ukrainian personnel were trained in secret and the training appears to have been carried out sometime during the summer of 2022 and took place in time to coincide with the initial delivery of the RBS 17s. Swedish personnel have also continued to be on call for answering technical and operational queries from the Ukrainian teams using the system. The Swedish article also includes a short video of one of the missile systems in operation in Ukraine. The team appears to be in cover behind a wall. The GoPro footage shows the missile nearby and the control unit as well as transport cases. A Polish MSBS Grot rifle can also be seen leaning on the wall next to the operator. After confirmation over the radio, the missile is launched and the operator quickly closes the launch control unit and begins to pack away equipment. Sightings of the RBS-17 in theatre are relatively rare, but the footage and imagery we do have gives us a relatively good look at how the weapon system is being used in the field. It appears that there's a combination of targeting of ground units and potentially targets across bodies of water. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this interesting. Don't forget to check out armorersbench.com where you can find all of our articles and videos on the war in Ukraine.
Please do like, comment, share and subscribe, share the videos with friends, and if you'd like to, you can support us either by Patreon or the History of Weapons and War app. Links to those in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.